Tell me why. I hear the door is open. Where is he? Where is he? They start speaking in Spanish. He's like, you don't have to worry. This is not like no back door or no setup. Why would you even say that? Okay, 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 y'all can stop, y'all can stop, y'all can stop, y'all can stop. Look, I know we're back with another video. I told you guys I'm literally gonna be uploading a video every single day until my birthday. My birthday is coming up 18 more days, bro. Comment down below, happy birthday every single day on every video I drop until my birthday if you a real one. But look, today, today we got some a little bit. I'm gonna be bringing back the story times maybe the lit pranks because i could do them live now right now i'm actually live on twitch as you're watching this video so also before we get into the video i want to you see it this is my clothing brand called solo lifestyle we have been selling out like crazy hoodies all that sweats all that the sweats are over there the hoodies over there but if you go to the site right now you guys can check today we have a story time on a time i ain't gonna lie i got i got backdoored by a shorty you know what I'm saying? Now, this is one reason why you cannot trust. If, if, you, if it's not you and your girl, y'all not locked in for more than like two months, do not trust no females, bro. Do not trust no females. Now, now the way this ended, I'm just kind of too smart. I'm kind of too smart for the normal person to try to get me. You, you're not finna get me. It's gonna take a lot more than just one person to get me. So let me, let me kind of explain what happened. You know what I'm saying? So sit back, relax, go ahead and grab your popcorn because it's going to be a movie. Here's this one night. Me and all my friends or whatever at the time, we decided to go out to the club. Now, normally, I don't really like going like to the club like that. Like I like going out, but I don't really like going like to the club, especially if it's whack because then you go out and you're like, damn, I really just wasted all that time. I could have been doing something else and I spent all that money on stuff that you really won't get back. We all decided to go out to a club. Now tonight, it was a little bit active more than, you know, than usual. And I ain't gonna lie before, I didn't, so I didn't drive. I got picked up cause my car was in the shop. I actually just got my car back like two days ago, literally. But basically I got picked up. So when I get picked up, I don't have to worry about driving. I don't have to worry about being DD. I'm gonna get a little lit, but I ain't gonna get like too lit. Like I know when to stop. People I was with, these boys be drinking. I mean, drinking. I'm like, damn, y'all boys be taking shots after shot. Like they'll be taking two shooters at once. I'm like, chill. Like you good? Like yo, is your liver okay? Is your head okay? Like, I don't know how you're able to do that, but you know, it was, this was one night where we got a little, you know, a little extra lit than usual, right? But there was like five, six of us. So we're deep. We get to the club. We go to this, it's like this club where there's like one club, two club, three clubs, and then one across the street. And it's like all in the same. You can just walk across the street back and forth, you know what I'm saying, to the clubs, right? So we ended up going from the middle club. We went in there. It was it was whack. It was it was pretty whack how it normally is. You feel me? That's why you have to go down there a little, a little lick. So we go in there, make a little round. We go upstairs. You know, we take another shot. Shots on me. You know, when someone says shots on you or on them, you're like, hey, well, hold on. I'll, you know what I'm saying? I don't want one right now, but if it says shots on you, then you know what I'm saying? Ring that bitch up, you know what I'm saying? So we take another shot and we go downstairs and we head over to the other club. All right, this one just starts getting a little wicked. As soon as we walk in, we got everybody looking at us like on some weird. Here's the thing, I ain't gonna lie. I don't know if it's just me or like the way I look or the way I carry myself, but as soon as I walk in, and I'm not even trying to say this like trying to be cocky or anything like that, I'm just being honest. As soon as we walk in, everybody's looking girls the guys is like looking they all you know what I'm saying these niggas is looking like kind of like mad like oh these these niggas will come here this clean or oh these niggas trying to do the most to look this clean I mean in reality my whole closet is just like that there's not a single piece of thing in my closet that I can't match to make some like a fire ass fit you know what I'm saying that's just like I like to carry myself I like fashion like I said I notice all this no matter what state I'm in I notice when people are like, look, you know, staring, looking, observing, trying to do some extra shiesty shit. You see what I'm saying? So we walk in, we ain't worried about it though. Cause then that last shot, as soon as we got in, it hit everybody, everybody, you know, we weren't like, you know, sloppy, drunk, hitting the wall, you know what I'm saying? But we was like, you feel me? It was a little faded. Like I said, we get into the club, we get to the bar again. Someone else, yo, yo, this one's on me this time. I'm like, damn, man, what's wrong with y'all, bruh? I'm like, another one? I'm like, all right. Obviously, I, ha I have the choice of knowing, you know, when to stop, 
or I have the choice to be like, nah, I'm good if I don't want no more. But like I said, I wasn't driving. And the person that was driving, he, you know, they were still good. They was all good to go. And the house was literally like five minutes away anyway. So we end up, you know, so we're still, we're in the club still, right? And for some reason, I don't know why this happens, but when we are together, somehow we end up just splitting up. And it's not even on purpose. It's just like, I don't, I, I can't, I literally cannot explain how the hell we're like right here and you turn this way and look and everybody is like gone. Like, I mean, and you look around, you see one over here, you see one over here, you see one on the floor dancing. I'm like, okay, okay, this is a little different. So this is what happened though. We're at the bar, we're at the bar, right? Anyone sees us taking shots. Like I said, anyone's looking, anyone's looking, everybody is looking, right? We go, you know, take the shots or whatever. Next thing you know, these girls come up and one girl takes him, one girl takes him, one, you know, we, and so we, there's literally, it's crazy because it was like a six of us and like, it was five of them, you know what I'm saying? So one of us, well, I don't know where he went. I think he went to the bathroom or something like that, but it was basically like a five on five. Next thing you know, I'm on the floor dancing, like on some, like, I don't know, no, I don't feel nobody else in the room. I don't see nobody else, but the person that I was with, like low key shorty was, Short shorty knew what she was doing, you know what I'm saying? But it wasn't like in a way where I still wasn't able to observe, you know what I'm saying? Someone trying to touch my pockets or anything like that. I still kind of knew, right? So she was like, do you want a shot? I'm like, a female asking a guy for the shot? Normally, I don't even take shots from nobody else, especially if I'm not right there. If I'm not right there, I was like, I don't know, you know what I'm saying? I was like, I don't really know you. People be doing shit to drinks, Jeff, you know what I mean? You feel what I'm saying? I ain't finna be one of them victims, you know what I'm saying? She's like, she started laughing. She told me she was like, I think she said she was in the Air Force. You feel me? And she looked like she was in the Air Force. She had nice ass teeth. I mean, she, I was like, okay. I was like, look, I, was like, I ain't gonna lie. I don't, want no, I don't want another shot. But if you wanna get another shot, that's on you. She's like, all right, come with me. She grabs my hand, we walk into the bar. I'm like, okay, okay. She gets what two Patron shots. Patron, like I said, Patron, any anything light, I can't do it. I can't do it. I don't know. I don't know. I, I could do it, but it just it hit different. It hit different. I think at this point I was mixing because I think we had dark liquor before, right? So basically, we're on the floor. We go back to the bar. You know what I'm saying? We take those the two Patron shots. They see you know we're back on the floor. Like I said, now it really feels like it's only me and this girl in the building. All I hear is the music. I don't see nobody else. It was like straight, like just contact. Like I just, nobody else was in the room with us. You feel me? It was like our own little world. So I go to the bathroom. Cause I'm like, all right, now I'm done dancing with her. You feel me? Whatever, whatever. I ain't finna, you know, keep talking to her or whatever. I'm finna go ahead and dip. I looked at the time. We walked in at probably 1130. It was now like 1245 out of nowhere. Club closes at like 130. I don't like being that person that likes to stay till the lights come on to see everybody. Like, I don't like, if you already look mid with the lights halfway off, I do not want to see you with the flights fully on. You feel what I'm saying? So I'll be trying to get out of there. And plus, I don't like anyone else just seeing me stay in there until like the last like five minutes. So I walk out the bathroom and she's like waiting at the end of the bar. I'm like, damn. I'm like, damn. I'm like, how can I play this shit off without her seeing me? So I go this way. And I see her over there in the corner of my eye. And I see her walking this way. I'm like, God damn, bro. I'm like, come on, bro. She's like, oh, I'm right here. I'm right here. I'm like, oh, yeah, I seen you. I was just trying to see where everyone else is at. And then she asked me, she was like, what do you mean everyone else? I was like, I'm here with like five other people. And she was like, oh. Like, she got like shocked about it. But she was like, oh, like, I did not know. I thought it was just you by yourself. But she didn't know that. And I was like, yeah. I didn't tell her that she was my, that they was my ride home or anything like that, right? I ended up going to the person that was driving. And he's like, yeah, we're not leaving till like 1.30. We're not, you know what I'm saying? Like, they lit. And I'm like, bro, I ain't trying to really stay here. I'm trying to slide now. I'm trying to get out of here. I ain't really trying to stay here the whole time. As I'm looking around for them, and I talked to them, and I told them that, I, you know, I said, I go back downstairs, because I'm like, at this point, well, I might as well see what shorty on. You feel me? I might as well see what she's on, right? As soon as I walk down the stairs, she grabbed my hand immediately. I mean, immediately. I'm like, yo, what the hell? At first, I almost hit one of these. I didn't know who it was. You know, so you can't be grabbing nobody in the club like that. You feel me? So, so as I walk down the stairs, and she grabs my hand or whatever. She's like, so um, what do you what are you trying to do? I was like, I was like, what the hell do you mean? What am I trying to do? She's like, you trying to get out of here? You trying to go back to the floor? You trying to get another shot? You trying to just go chill? She's like, do you smoke? Do you want to go smoke? I'm like, damn. I'm like, hold on now. My like, shit sounded a little too good, you know what I'm saying? I was like, well, I mean, we could we could get out of here, you know what I'm saying? 
I was like, we can go, you know, we can go chill or whatever the case may be. I ain't be trying to do no extra stuff, but we could chill. That's exactly what I told her. She's like, oh, no, don't worry. I'm not like one of these females that just go to the club just to go home with a dude. I actually like to hang out with guys and get to know them. That's right there. Red flag number one. You like to hang out with guys, get to know for what? And if you don't like to, you know, say, so for what are you really doing right now in the club right now? So she was like, are you ready to go? And I'm like, I mean, we could we could slide. You know what I'm saying? I was like, my, everyone else is here, but I was like, we could slide, you know, to the parking lot, go chill, whatever. We can go by the lake. You know what I'm saying? Good vibes. I know some spots. I like to listen to music and look at views. You feel me? That's exactly what I told her. Like how I told y'all. She's like, all right, you know some spots or whatever. I was like, well, yeah. She's like, what about your friends? You gonna leave them here or you gonna come with me? And I was like, well, they over there. I mean, I'm a grown ass man. At the end of the day, I can do my own. I always got my own, you feel me? I had all my stuff on me already. I'm like, all right, let's slide. So we slide. And this is the next uh, red flag. You know, as I get outside, I'm making sure, you know, so I see who's looking at me and her leave, whatever the case may be. We cross the street. As soon as we get in the parking lot, She's like, you don't have to worry. This is not like no back door, no setup. Why would you even say that? Why would you even say that? So right then and there, I'm like, okay, some shit is trying, she's trying, I'm about to get set up, I think. I think in my head. She was like, I trust, trust me, I promise you, like nothing is gonna, nothing's gonna happen. This is no setup, no back door. I'm like, hmm, okay, this is a little, something's a little off here, but all right, you know, all right. You know, y'all might be like, damn, you're dumb. Just leave at that point. Y'all have to realize. You can't get back in the club after like 1230. So once you're out of there, you're not getting back in and it's cold outside. They're in there. I'm calling. No answer. I remember I called twice before I fully walked out the door. No answer from like the three main people that would answer. Right. So I'm like, them boys is lit. You know, they, they ain't worried about their phones right now. So I'm like, all right, I got all my stuff on me. My house is 10 minutes over there. All I got to do is get over there. And that's it. I'm, I'm really chilling. If I really have to call Uber, do what I got to do. That's fine by me. So we get into her car. You know what I'm saying? The outside, nice, you know, nice little cool little clean car. It's look, trust me, hey, kings out there, fellas, you can definitely judge a female based off their car, okay? How it looks inside and out. I'm telling y'all that now. Look at that, bro. Like, observe that. I'm telling y'all that now. So the outside of the car looks good. She hits a little button, car turns on. I'm like, okay, shorty may not be on no extra. I get in the car. shit everywhere i mean I, I, i'm looking around i step in the car i can't even put my feet on the floor because there's shit everywhere mcdonald's cup right there starbucks cup right there i see a bottle back there i see hella trash i mean my feet are not touching the actual car floor i think i'm my feet is on straight trash i see eyebrow shit i you know liner and all that shit i'm like damn like is females really this dirty <laughs> You know what I'm saying? Like, I, th I thought I was dirty when I have, like, you know what I'm saying? A little shit all over, but that her shit was dirty. I mean, I'm like, there was no smell. Like, there was no, like, bad smell. It was just, there was stuff everywhere. So right off a rip right there, in my head, I'm like, okay, if she can't keep her car clean, she can't keep herself clean. So I already knew nothing else was going to happen wise while we was hanging out you feel me we get to so we got get in the car now we're in the parking lot turns on the heat she's playing music first song she play on is like a king von some shit i never even heard i'm like okay so shorty really you feel me she's a little different she's a little different right so everything is still cool you feel me i'm making sure i'm looking around me i'm seeing how many where the lock is at where the door is at. i'm like okay cool you know what i'm saying i'm making sure my shit done. if i hear a little lock I'm like, hey what you doing what you locking the doors for? You know what I'm saying? So doors didn't uh, get locked. I did lock mine, though. You know what I'm saying? I said, you unlock the doors. But I un I unlocked my I locked mine just in case someone doesn't try to, like, you feel me? Open the door. But, like, either way, both of those situations is bad. Locked or unlocked. You know what I'm saying? So basically, we get to the lake. And I noticed that Shorty is, t like, on her phone a lot more, like, from the parking lot to the spot we was at. Like, the whole ride. The whole drive, you know, she was just talking to me and all that. She's putting her hand on my thigh. I'm like, you feel me? It's it's there. Like, she's not, you feel me? Her hand's just like right here. You know, her hand's just right here on my thigh. It's nothing. She keeps rubbing my thigh and shit. And I'm like, if you think something's about to happen, shorty, you're wrong. Ain't nothing about to happen tonight. I'm going to keep it a stack. We get to the lake. Like I said, she's really texting on her phone hella. Like, hella too. I'm like, why the hell you text on your phone so much? Like, like why do you keep, you feel me? You get a notification, you put the phone down. And then you pick it up and you start to text again. I'm like, okay, shorty is weird. I'm like, this is weird. So at this point, I'm like seven minute walk away. 
maybe five minute walk from the house. I never, ever bring anybody to my house. If I tell anybody to link, I tell them to go to this park that's near my house and I'll meet you over there. No cap. I do that with everybody. Ain't nobody knowing where I stay at. So we chilling. We're at the lake. We're at the lake. I'm a seven minute walk. So I'm like, what's really going? You know what I'm saying? We just chilling, listen to music. We talking, we vibing. She keeps checking her phone, like I said. Next thing you know, it, like I said, it's what, almost one o'clock in the morning now, maybe like 1.10. Like, yeah, you're going to see a lot of cars, but you ain't going to see that many cars. All right. So this is what I notice. I see a, I see a, we get on the side. There's a lake on this side. There's a view on this side. I'm on this side of the lake side. You know, she's on the, you know, driver's side, obviously. So cars are going this way and this way. Next thing you know, I see like this blacked out car. I mean, con I mean, I, you wouldn't, I swear to God that the light was from the street, wasn't shining down. I don't even think I would even seen the car go past. At this point, I'm not as faded anymore too. Cause I'm now I'm kind of like thinking about what the hell's going on. So now I'm kind of sobering up or whatever. Car goes past. I'm like, what the fuck? I'm like, that, that car looked a little too weird. And like when she looked, like she was looking at me. And then when I looked up, she looked up at the car like that. And just like looked at it and then kind of like looked back at me and started messing with her hair. I'm like, what the fuck? Car goes all the way past. I'm like, all right, don't, don't mind it. Don't mind it. And I asked her, I'm like, yo, you need to be to my crib real quick. So I told her this lie so I can get out of there quicker. Cause at this point, I'm like, what the fuck? Like, what? I was like, you take me to my crib real quick because my roommate is at the house. He's not able to get in the house. You know what I'm saying? Cause he lost his key. So I need to open the door and I got the key right here. She's like, oh, let's just, he'll be all right. Let's just wait like 10, 20 more minutes. I'm like, there's no negotiation. Eh, take me to my house. What are you talking about? I don't, I'm not waiting no one extra minute, 30 extra seconds. I'm trying to go home. You feel me? I'm like, he's stuck outside. He needs to get in. I said, then after we could come back over here. But that's what I was just telling her. In reality, as soon as I would went in the house, I wouldn't even came back out. I'm like, all right, let's wait. Let's just wait like 10 more minutes. I see the car go by again, like three minutes later. That's when I'm like, okay, shit's starting to get a little skeptical. I'm like, shit's starting to definitely get a little skeptical because I don't know why this car is going back and forth. I'm like, well, maybe they were going home and then they left. All right, boom. I see the car in the rear view, way to fall, like way back there. I'm like, is that that same car? It pulls up hella slow in the back, but way back there, probably like 20 more cars behind. Cause you could park on the side and cars can go behind you. And I'm like, what the fuck? I kind of noticed it. I'm like, oh hell nah, this shit getting a little, a little weird. You feel what I'm saying? I was like, I was like, I know another spot. Let's go there. So I'm like, if I see this car again, then I know it's something to do with her. We get to the next spot, the little fireplace, right? It's a little fireplace and something like that. Then we chill in there. Once again, like she, she's, she's not on her phone as much this time now. I feel like she, like caught on that I caught on that she was on her phone a lot but she definitely like I said every time she got a notification she would like look at it and then put it down like way over there you feel me and so we're sitting on the fire our backs are this way fires right here the views is all right here you know what I'm saying she keeps trying to get up up on me you know what I'm saying got up on my leg and stuff I'm like look I ain't gonna lie I'm just trying to go to the house now you feel me I was like my friend he's been out there at the crib he can't get in none of that and you over here bullshitting and wasting my time. I'm trying to go home. I was like, I don't even know you, and you don't even know me. And what, either one of us could be doing some serious shit here. You know what I'm saying? So he's just still trying to occupy the time and stall. I'm like, yeah, this is this is getting this is looking a little out of hand. This is a little out of hand, bro. Next thing you know, two minutes later. Two minutes later, bro. There's only one way to get into these apartments. You feel me? I look down. Perfect timing. I hear like I swear I hear a dog barking. Like it was like a sign. I'm like, what the hell? A dog barking? Goddamn two o'clock in the morning almost. I look. Car, same car with no lights. I mean, and it's go going up the street. Worst part is near those apartments, there's no lights. But I see, you know, I can see a black figure car moving, and I also hear it a little bit. And I'm like, that's I was like, what the fuck? Fuck. At this point, I was like, that was the same car that was just, just passed us three times down there. She's like, what car? What she's what car? What I don't even see one. She gonna look. And this is how I know she was really on some bullshit. When I said, there's a car, this car over here keeps following us. And she's like, what car? Bitch, ain't even nothing even over here. Why are you looking over here? I said over there. Next thing you know, next thing you know, I hear like a 
like they take off. I'm like, with no lights on. So they're coming up this way and we're parked up here. I'm like, um, I don't know what's going on. And it's dark as hell. Like I said, it's two o'clock in the morning almost, bro. So it was two o'clock in the morning. So ain't nobody outside. Ain't no lights. None of that. I'm like, what the hell? Oh, hell no. I'm out of here. I'm out. I was like, I'm out of here. So literally, so there's like a gym. There's like a little, like a little apartment gym that's right there. So I go that way. I, I kind of like walk. You know, I don't run. I mean, I'm, I'm walking a little bit because they go up the hill at this point. They're coming up the hill and I see them right there. And I go there and I go around the building where the gym is at. Bro, tell me why. Tell me why. I hear the door is open. Where is he? Where is he? They start speaking in Spanish. I don't even know what the hell they were saying. The only thing I heard was, where is he? Where is he? Um, I think I heard a key. Or so, uh, something like that. I don't like. I don't even know Spanish like that. I'm like, what the fuck? Okay. And so basically, the apartments are is above the hill, is above that lake that we were just sitting by, and there's a big ass, big ass sloped ass dirt ass hill, bro. No, bro. Let me tell you. I'm like, what the hell? I hear at least like three people, bro. I hear like at least three people, bro. I swear, at least three doors slam. I hear another one open then close right there next thing you know i'm like i hear like i said i hear him say where is he at where is he at there's this hill i go straight down the hill it's straight dirt straight big ass bushes you can't really see on top of that i live in a place where they got coyotes mountain lions bears like on real like you see a bear outside like i'm not even joking so i'm going down the hill i'm going down the hill i ain't gonna lie low-key slipped hit a goddamn bush i'm low-key tumbling down the hill right now it's like I said, it's two o'clock in the morning. I got all my shit on. I'm hearing because I'm tumbling down the hill. All my chains is falling out. I'm like, I'm just hoping that my keys did not fall out. And I'm hoping I didn't leave anything in her car to see where I stay at or anything like that. I get, I basically tumble down to the, the little trail path that goes around the lake. Now I'm walking back this way where the car was first parked at by the lake, right? And next thing you know, bro. Next thing you know, I just see both cars flying past. Like I said, I'm, I'm in the trail. It's dark as hell. You can't really see me. You feel me? Flying past both of them. Both of them just zoom, zoom. And I'm like, well, I, I see them. And I'm like, well, I got to walk home. I got to go across the street, through this field, through that parking lot, down that hill to get home. I ain't worried about when I get over there. It's when I'm here. So they zoom down that way. Circle the block, they zoom, I'm literally watching them. They zoom down this way, circle the block, zoom back down this way. Next thing you know, they didn't come back this way. So I didn't know if they went back up to the apartments. Next thing you know, I, I crossed the street. Uh, 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 uh. Boom, across the parking lot. Uh, uh, uh. Boom. Now, the street that goes to my house, so the lake's back here, coming up, coming up. The apartments is up on the hill. You make a left, boom. I see two cars. You know, I'm in a parking lot. You can't really see me. On that street, I see two cars flying again. At this point, they looking for me. They looking for me. I had to take every back road back to the house. Just so, like, I mean, if, he, if they seen anyone walking at that time, well, they probably were saying what's up to see if it was me. Next thing you know, I get to the house. And that was that. Now, I give females my Google voice number. I never even give them my iPhone number. He texts me talking about, 20 minutes later, where did you at? Where did you go? I said, what? I said, you was with those three dudes. I literally seen everything. Everything. Didn't get a text back after that. And haven't got a text back since. So that was the time I almost got backdoored for real.